Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel and it's another F-type day. Let me show you, have got a plan for the cat this time. So let's take a look in the garage, I've laid them out on the table here and this is what I plan to do today. Wheel spacers, yes. So uh, I've got uh, four 20mm wheel spacers, talk about them in a minute. And while I've got the wheels off, I bought these Chinesium centre caps because the ones on mine are pretty worn and faded, so I'm going to replace them with them. So talking about wheel spacers, I did a little bit of research on this and there's kind of three ways you can go with these. Number one, you can go 15mm all round. And there's a problem with that in that you have to cut the wheel studs to cater for those because of the shortness of the space set, the studs will stick out too far. I'll show you that when we get the wheel off. Another way you can go is 20s on the back and 15s on the front. Again, you'll need to cut your front studs. And the third way that I've seen is 20s all round. Now, some people say 20s all round, not good, pushes the wheels out too far. Now, I don't think it will, but I wanted to try, so we're going to try these. I've gone for the latter of those, a 20 all the way around, because that's easy, I don't need to do any cutting. So I'm going to try these, and I'm going to see what it looks like. If they don't look right, then we'll sell them, and we'll get 15s for the wheels that don't look right. So let's go and have a look at the wheels as they are now, and let's see how much you could benefit from having wheel spacers on. So these are the fronts. There's a slight turn on the wheel, but um, if you look, really, can you see down there? So if, let's put it on the tyre, looking down, sure if you can read that but i think 20s may may just be okay there i don't know i think that's maybe debatable let's have a look at the rears so this is on the rears and i'm reading about 30 25 to 30 so i think the rears will probably get away with the 20 mil right anyway let's uh let's get this get it jacked up get the wheels off let's see what they look like Oh, by the way, look at these centre caps. See mine all a bit, comes out on camera. So yeah, they're all a bit grotty. So I definitely need new centre caps. You can see the wheel studs and if you see this little bit on the end here, this is the bit you would need to cut off if you're putting 15 mils on. So you are actually impact the thread by doing that. So that's pretty good actually. Now, the way that this works is if you look at the wheel here, so if you see on the back of the wheel, you've got these cutouts here. So these cutouts is where the actual end of the thread will go. Now, if you put 15 mils on, uh, them, them studs are gonna stick into there and they're gonna catch and the wheel won't go on properly. And that's because the way you fit this is that goes on there as you see, they're sticking out now. And I'm actually even with these ones on, uh, the amount of thread sticking out there, I think is way more than the indentation in the back of my wheel. So let's just try these and then we'll see what we've got. So there we go guys, even um, with these 20 mils, now I'm not sure you can see on the camera there, but you can just see the, the color of the actual uh, nuts under there so uh, these do not go all the way so with these wheels i'm still going to have to cut the studs off even if I put 20s on which is a bit weird because then if i go for 15s i'm going to have to cut half the thread off to get them on so hmm. i had the same problem with my mustang where i didn't have the indentations in the back of the wheels to take these type of uh, wheel spacers oh well, let me have a think about it and i'll get back to you so yeah looking at it i think if i do take off this bit here then that'll just only leave that little bit of thread there, which should fit inside that recess there. So I'm pretty sure that there'll be enough there. So it looks like I need to get the grinder out. Wish me luck. All right, that's all them cut down. So now let's uh, test fit and see how it goes. That's better now, that's uh, now tight up against the spacer, so that's how it should be. Pop this off, let's put it on properly and change that centre cap. So we're going to torque these to exactly the same as uh, the wheel nuts, which is 85 foot-pounds. Thank you. 
and not forgetting the wheel centers. I think they may be right when they say it's maybe just a little bit too much. Just sticks a little bit proud. I'll tell you what, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna run them at the moment because that will only be for the MOT. It'll probably fail MOT without being like that. So I'm gonna run these and uh, I'll investigate getting some 15s. But I'm just worried that if I get 15s, I'm gonna have to take another five mil off my uh, wheel studs. Hmm, so maybe these wheels, maybe I need to get different wheels. Anyway, that'll be a future project. Let's get the back wheel off now and let's get this one done. I was hoping that the rear wheels would have a deeper indentation because they are a deeper sort of dish wheel, but no, exactly the same. So it looks like I'm going to have to uh, cut these studs off as well. Oh well, let's get it sorted. Here's a rears from above and yes I think that one uh, certainly does work so the 20 mil on that set on the rears is fine because the haunches stick out a little bit so brilliant it's in pretty high though I think that's because the suspension had settled after I rode it down so I'm gonna go to the other side and I just realized I forgot to put the uh, the new Jaguar wheel uh, centers in so I'm gonna have to pop that wheel back off get the center out unless I can get it out without taking it off and replace that so let me do that and I'll get back to you when I've finished well that's it guys, so there we go, that's what it looks like with those wheel spaces on. Um, it still seems a little high in the suspension, but wait, boy. But I think that might be fixed with some 20 inch wheels, so I might look at some 20 inches on this, I think that'll definitely fix that issue. Anyway that's it for now guys, hope you enjoyed this, if you did don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me the thumbs up on more videos like this. Catch you very soon.